What's up guys, it's Oblivious Gamer here, and of course, we got some news to talk about. And I don't think it's good news, it's more likely sad news, because it was just announced that Front Mission 2 Remake is being delayed to a unannounced date. The game originally was supposed to come out June 12th, so it was supposed to come out pretty soon. Personally, I was excited, so Front Mission fan, as a mecha fan, somebody who likes turn-based RPGs, and I really did enjoy Front Mission 1's remake. I think that was really fantastic. So it does suck a bit that we might not get it as soon as we wanted. Forever Entertainment, who are the publishers, did release a statement. They said that the decision was not taken lightly. It seems they need more time to make sure the game runs well and, you know, functions properly. And currently they are unable to provide a specific date, though they are trying to release it by the third quarter of this year. Usually third federal quarter if I'm not mistaken tends to be July to September if I'm understanding it correctly. At the same time remember that they're remaking the first three front missions so we also don't know if this could have an impact on front mission three. So the, the expectation was that like Front Mission 3 Remake could come like sometime 2024 once obviously the second one is released but with this being pushed, we don't know how longer it's going to take for Front Mission 3 Remake. So it's a bit of sad news. I was really looking forward to playing Front Mission 2 Remake, especially on the Switch. And it just sucks, I, I guess. You know, we, we come from some good positive announcements, especially for people who are fans of mecha games. We recently got the announcement that Demon X Machina is getting a sequel. We also found out that it seems Front Mission Remake, the first one, is coming out to the PlayStation. So there was reports that people have been seeing that like trophies are being uploaded. So it means that more people are going to be playing it because now it's available on another platform that's not just the Switch. And this also could mean that the other front missions are not going to be exclusive to the Switch permanently. It means that like after a specific amount of time, we might get to see front mission 2 and 3 on other platforms. Personally, I'm always on the camp that the more people get access to the game, the better. I feel, especially for certain franchises and certain genres, it is better for them to get into the hands of more people so more people can experience it. And I think Front Mission is one of those cases and also the whole video game mecha genre in general. Right now, if you guys have been following the mecha genre in terms of video games, I personally don't think we are necessarily like at high point. There's not as many games as it used to be. Development also works very differently. There's also some disappointment, some here and there. So I feel the more multi-platform the game is, the better. That's why like, I'm really hyped for Armor Core. I just like Armor Core and also the fact that it's going to be available on most platforms and everybody's going to be able to play it is fantastic for the genre and fans of Mecha. But this just sucks. I mean, there's no way to put it. Hopefully we get to see it sometime soon. Also, you know, I am also a person who's like, I don't believe developers should be overworked. I think developers should have a healthy life. You know, these are the people that make our games bring us entertainment and help, you know, create the franchises that we love. So I'm also not advocating like, oh man, and this sucks at developers like if they need more time because obviously games take time to make and also so that their developers are healthy and they're not overworking themselves that is fine that's 100% fine I mean it's always better to take your time with the game especially in the current environment that we live where so many games are being released and a lot of them being like high budget and like very ex people excited about them and then they come out with so many technical problems the best example, the new Star Wars game that came out. Everybody said it's a fantastic game, but there's just so many bugs, so many problems. The PC version is unplayable. And this is a AAA game. Redfall was another case where obviously there's a lot more stuff, but that's another game that had its own problems. And there was a meme going on where like a bunch of companies just keep releasing statements, apologizing for releasing bugged out games or games with problems. And we're seeing this a lot more. So I think for the better... This is something good. It sucks as someone who obviously, you know, you want to play this. You want to try it out now. But at the end of the day, it's probably for the better. But yeah, guys, that's it. As always, what are your thoughts? Were you excited for Front Mission 2 Remake? Feel free to leave your thoughts down below. This has been Oblivious Gamer. And I hope you'll have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are.